I'm going to show a lot of the features of the GoPro Connect app. The Connect app connects your smart device with your GoPro Hero camera. I'm going to connect the GoPro Hero 5 with an Android smartphone. Some things you can do with the GoPro app when connected to a GoPro Hero camera. Full remote control of all Hero functions. See what your Hero sees on the app. View your photos and play back your videos on the app. Copy and save photos and videos to your smart device. Delete files on your Hero's micro SD card. You can pull still images from your videos to share on social media. Create short video clips from your videos and share them to social media. And you can wirelessly update your Hero camera software. I have the GoPro Capture app installed on my Android Nexus 4 smartphone. I'm currently using version 3.11 parentheses 3487 close parentheses of the GoPro Capture app. What GoPro cameras can you connect with using the Capture app? Currently you can connect these cameras. Hero 5 Black, Hero 5 Session, Hero Session, Hero Plus, Hero 4, Hero 3 Plus, Hero 3, and Hero 2. I'm using the Hero 5 Black. Let's connect it to the Capture app. Make sure your smartphone Bluetooth is on. The Capture app is here. I will open it. This is the beginning of the Capture app. In media are photos and videos that you have previously uploaded from the Hero camera to your smartphone using this app. If this is your first time using this app, none of your photos or videos will be here. I'll tap on the media area. And here are some of my photos and videos that I had previously uploaded from my Hero camera to this smartphone using this app. I'll go back. The image here changes to other images that are in your media area. This section is GoPro's photo of the day. If you click on this section, it will take you to GoPro's website to view the photo of the day and past photos of the day. This section will also take you to a GoPro web page where you can view videos of the day and other GoPro content. In the upper left is the main menu for the app when you are not connected to a GoPro camera. Let's open it up. Here is the app's menu items. I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. Settings. These settings are the settings for the app and not for the connected GoPro camera. Support. In support are a list of troubleshooting topics concerning the app and the Hero cameras. Click on one of the topics and it takes you to a GoPro web page for more information. Products. This will take you to a GoPro web page to buy more GoPro stuff. Media. In media you will find all your photos and videos that you uploaded from your Hero camera to your smartphone. I will go into media and there are the photos and videos that I uploaded from my Hero camera. Camera. Okay, here's where we begin to connect this Hero camera to the smart device. But first I will go back to the home page of the app and start from there. I will tap home here. As I said before, make sure that your smart device Bluetooth is turned on. Tap this connect your camera. On mine, the app begins to try to connect the last Hero camera that I had connected. If you are connecting for the first time or want to change the type of Hero camera to connect to, tap this plus sign here in the upper right. Here are the Hero cameras that you can connect to. Tap on your camera. Then the app begins to try to connect to your Hero camera. I'm using the Hero 5 Black. If you are using a different Hero camera, the menu system on the camera may be different. On the Hero camera, turn it on. The app gives you instructions on what to do on the Hero camera. Swipe down on the Hero camera. Tap on Connect. Then you would think that you can tap on this Capture app here, but no. You need to go down to Connect New Device. Tap on it. This window appears. Tap on Capture App. The camera is trying to connect. Go to the app and tap on My Camera is On. Tap on Continue. Or you may see this screen on the app. Tap on this camera icon until you see the app trying to connect. Now the Capture App is connecting to the Hero Camera. When you are connected, this appears on the Hero camera, Nexus 4 Connected. Nexus 4 is the name of my smartphone. On the Capture app, you will see this. 
In the upper right is a button where you can turn off and on the hero camera. This icon tells me that I am in video mode. This line of information is my current camera settings. I'm shooting 1080 at 30 frames per second. The N is for narrow field of view setting. This symbol means that I have video stabilization turned on. If you have ProTune turned on, it will show here also. And I also believe that the auto low light and manual audio control icons will display here if they are also turned on. On this line, I have 13 videos on my Hero camera. I am not currently recording. I have 1 hour and 59 minutes of video recording time still available on my SD card. This is the battery level of the connected Hero camera. Here's where to go to see all the videos on your connected Hero camera. I'll come back to this later because I want to show you how to pull photos out of your videos and upload them to social media. The record button to start and stop recording. And here is where we can change all the camera settings of the connected Hero camera. I'll tap on this camera settings icon. Here's where you can change the video settings. The resolution. Here's where you can change the video resolution from 480 at the bottom to 4K at the top. Frames per second. From 24 frames per second at the bottom to 120 frames per second at the top. If you're shooting higher video resolution, for example 4K, your frames per second choices will be limited. Field of view. From narrow at the bottom to super view at the top. Video stabilization. Turn it on or off. Audio. Stereo only, wind only, or auto. And turn ProTune on or off. Here's to where to change the photo settings. Rate. Here's where to change the burst rate. Megapixels. This is to where to change the field of view. WDR, Wide Dynamic Range, also known as HDR, High Dynamic Range. ProTune, turn ProTune on or off. Multi-shot settings, megapixels. This is the field of view for the other shooting modes. ProTune, turn it on or off. Camera setup. Auto rotation, rotation of the camera screen. Auto, up or down. Default mode. Default mode is the shooting mode that you want activated when you turn on the hero camera. Quick capture. Turn on or off. Quick capture is when the hero camera is off, you can quickly capture a video just by pressing the record button on top of the camera. LED blink. Turn on or off all the blinking LEDs on the camera or just turn off the front blinking LEDs. GPS, on or off. Beeps, the sound level of the camera beeps. Auto off, turn off the camera after so many minutes of inactivity. Screen saver, turn off the camera screen after so many minutes. Change language. Voice control language. Voice control. Turn on or off the voice control. Set date and time. I'm not sure why this is here because it does nothing for me when I tap it. Maybe when you first set up your Hero camera this option works. So I guess if you want to change the date and time you have to do it in the camera. This section is where you can delete files from the camera's SD card. Connections. Let's go down to camera status, to the SD card capacity, videos on card, video time remaining, 1 hour 59 minutes, and photos remaining. Okay, I'll go back to the main screen of the connected Hero camera. Here's where you can change the shooting mode. I'll tap it. This window opens up. Here you can set normal video, video plus photo, or looping video. Tap on the camera icon here. You can set normal photo, night photo, or burst photo. This icon is for the different time lapse modes. You can set time lapse video, time lapse photo, or night time lapse. We are going back in here to take a look at the photos and videos that are currently on the SD card in the connected Hero camera. These are my videos and photos on my SD card. I'm going to show how to grab a photo from a video. 
I'll choose this video. Play the video to the point that you want to grab a photo from. Pause the video by tapping on it to bring up the pause button. Tap the pause button on the video. This icon here is the grab photo icon. Tap on it. It makes a photo. Then tap the save button in the upper right. It will now save the grab photo to the media section of the captured app. If you want to share it now, tap this blue share button. Then select the social media or app on your phone where you want to share it. This icon is for cropping a video. Tap on it. It gives you a choice to do a 5 second crop or a 15 second crop. Since this video is only 7 seconds long, it only gives me a 5 second option. I'll go back and choose a longer video to crop. I will choose this video. Tap the crop icon. And there you can see the two options. A 5 second crop or a 15 second crop. I would choose 5 seconds and move the 5 second slider to the place where I want a 5 second video. Then tap the save button at the upper right. It saves the 5 second video to the Capture Apps media section. And you can share the video from that section. Or if you want to share it now, press the blue share button. Okay, that is it. That is how to use the GoPro Capture app with the GoPro Hero camera. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.